pro at Mount Sinai High School in Snoqualmie, Washington, and offered him on the spot. Millen is ranked as one of the top quarterbacks. So, so you can see it receives nicely. Uh, by the way, the clock also works. A uh, real quick test of the Hammerlin Model HQ 180, and it does receive receive signals on the other bands as well. Um, and it has, as you can see down here, a lot of features. It has uh, both upper and lower sideband. Here's your different. Uh, Filter selectivity down below for operating a CW sideband, that kind of thing. It has veneer tuning. Also, here's your AM CW sideband uh, selector. Also has the slot frequency tuning unit here, which is really nifty. And here's your BFO control for uh, beat frequency oscillator. RF gain, AF gain, oops, RF gain, AF gain down below. Main tuning with the band spread, obviously there as they're labeled. Uh, here's your uh, tuning range. In Megacycles, it has the uh, broadcast band, obviously, and then on from there all the way to 30, as you can see. So general coverage. Here's your antenna uh, control for uh, helping tune the uh, external antenna. Here's your noise limiter here, which does oops, noise limiter, which does work. Sorry about that. Uh, here's your send and receive switch, and the calibrator position there. Uh, this is your um, uh, S meter control for either turning it off slow the ABC medium fast uh, there and so that's what they look like really nifty uh, radio the Hammerlin HQ 180 this one has the original manual also I want to show you that and let's take a real quick peek inside the unit um, so it has the covers a lot of times those are missing sadly but it's a nice physical shape uh, the chassis is good and obviously it has all of its tubes and it's playing nicely um, and it looks good too sorry about that it looks good as well all the way around uh, the Hammerland model HQ 180 general coverage receiver